Hello everyone, so my name is Varun, Varun Cyril, and I'm from Hammer Emissions and today we're going to look at how you can set up a wind turbine inspection using Hammer. At Hammer our goal is to help you collect high quality data for infrastructure surveys and inspections and to help you essentially process that data and share it with your end customer or stakeholders. Right, so let's jump right in. So what I've got here is essentially um, I've got a wind turbine on the screen and what you would do is you would go into the Hammer Missions menu and select the wind turbine inspection option. What you would then do for a wind turbine inspection is essentially you would want to get your drone to mark the trajectory you would want the drone to follow in flight. Um, so essentially this would involve marking the, the hub of the, of the wind turbine as well as marking uh, the, the tip of the blades that you want to inspect. So essentially what I'm going to show here is how you can use the drone to mark the wind turbine. So essentially uh, this would be very much showcasing some of the, some of the fly to draw features that are available in Hammer. So uh, once you've got the drone connected on site, so as you will see in a moment, the drone will pop up on the screen. Um, you should then be able to use that drone to mark the trajectory you want the drone to follow. So now I've got a drone on the screen as you can see and I've also got the wind turbine on the screen. So what you would then do is you would essentially fly the drone manually first. So at the moment I'm taking off the drone, I'm dropping off the drone. So if you notice the top left corner of the screen you will notice the height of the drone is going up and essentially it's now moving. It's now moving towards its first point. So I'm going to position the drone in this particular example at the hub of the wind turbine. So we're going to essentially try and do one blade in this particular example. You'd position the hub, you'd position the drone as close as possible to the hub with the right orientation. Um, and once you've got the position locked in, you'd press either the, the C2 button on the remote controller or you would essentially tap the drone. If you tap the drone, it will drop a point in front of the hub as you can see above. Essentially, you would have a point dropped on the screen. You would now fly your drone to the, uh, to the edge of the blade and you would position your drone to look towards the tip of the blade or towards the blade essentially. So over here I'm going to rotate the drone and I'm going to make it look inwards into the blade. And I'm going to again mark a point by tapping the drone icon or pressing the C2 button on the remote controller. So once again you would press either the C2 button on the remote controller or you would tap the drone icon. I'm going to now repeat the same thing by going over to the other side of the blade and I'm going to rotate the drone so that it positions itself looking inside or inwards towards the tip. So essentially I'm positioning the drone uh, and I've got it essentially looking inwards uh, towards the tip of the blade. And once I've done that, I once again either tap the drone icon or I press the C2 button, which is the back right button on the, on the drone controller. So depending on whichever you find more comfortable, you can do either of those and that will drop a point on the map as you can see. Um, so I've got three points on the screen and now I want to get the fourth point which is essentially flying the drone to the back to the hub essentially uh, but the other side of the hub and I would be pointing towards the center of the hub once again making sure the orientation of the drone is correct and then I drop another point by tapping the drone icon or pressing the C2 button on the drone controller. And once I press OK in the top right that will create a flight plan and I press play and fly and the drone should now essentially fly that as a mission. So it should fly it automated. So now the drone would essentially go to the first point, look towards the hub. So it will, it's going to position itself to look, uh, once it's got the camera focused, uh, it's going to look towards the hub. As you can see, it's going to position the gimbal to the right angle and it's going to move on that line following the blade capturing images um, and essentially it's going to end up at point number two and now from point two to point three the drone would again very much look at the blade as per the orientation that are marked and it would continue taking pictures uh, and essentially capturing high quality data for that wind turbine at a regular interval. So that's pretty much it for this particular demo. Hopefully that gave you an overview on how to collect high quality data for wind turbine inspections using Hammer. 
Um, if you'd like to learn more, please do check out some of our other video tutorials. And if you'd like to learn more about Hammer Missions, we've also dropped a link below with a full guide to wind turbine inspections. Uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.